Well, in the summer, it's too hot, and in the winter, it's too cold. In the springtime, when the weather's just right, you find someplace else to go. Well, it's up to the mountains, or down to the beach, or to visit some old friend. Or you just stay home and kind of relax and hope the kid folks will drop in. Well, the church benches are too hard, and the choir sings way too loud. And boy, you know how nervous you get when you're sitting in a great big crowd. That doctor told you, you better watch those crowds, they're going to set you back. But you go out to the old baseball game because you say it helps you to relax. Well, it's a headache Sunday morning, and it's a backache Sunday night. Oh, by, by work time Monday morning, you know you're feeling quite all right. While one of the children has a cold, pneumonia do you suppose? While the whole family had to stay home just to help blow that poor kid's nose. Excuses, excuses, you hear them every day. Now the devil will supply them if from church you stay away. When people come to know the Lord, the devil always loses. So to keep them folks away from church, he offers them excuses. Well, the preacher, he's too young, or maybe he's too old. The sermons, they're not hard enough, or maybe they're too bold. His voice is much too quiet. Sometimes he gets too loud. He needs to have more dignity, or else he's way too proud. Well, the sermons, they're too long, or maybe they're too short. He ought to preach the word with dignity instead of stomp and snort. Well, that preacher we got, somebody said, must be the world's most stuck-up man. While one of the ladies said the other day, He didn't even shake my hand. Excuses, excuses, you hear them every day. Now the devil will supply them if from church you stay away. When people come to know the Lord, the devil always loses. So to keep them folks away from church, he offers them excuses. So to keep those folks away from church, he offers them excuses.